everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the blinked brushes bring on the blink collection this is the 12 piece brush set I can't wait to show you each one individually I'm so excited about this package I got this for Christmas and I can't wait to show you guys so if you're new to my channel I would love for you to subscribe down below it means so much to me now let's get right into the video so if you're wondering what I have on my lips I have the two Sephora lip stories collection one is in the shade 74 one is in the shade 7 so these two combined these are my favorite lipsticks of all times and on my eyes I have the Natasha Denona Biba palette let's get right into this blinked brushes I, I bought the silver collection it costs $132 US so it's quite expensive it comes into this bubble wrap packaging well it's just a ziplock and the brushes are inside this bubble wrap on the back here it's very hard to see this holographic packaging is so cute but it tells you about the brush sets and it gives you kind of the collection and what each brush is named and what each brush does so we have a 12 piece set in here we have five pieces for face six for eyes and one for lips the bristles are plush synthetic bristles and each brush like they have thousands of shimmering crystals on them so I'm gonna take this out it comes with this beautiful card by blink brushes and it's a handwritten type of card from Courtney and the BB team let's get into the brushes here and I'm gonna go through each one and show you what each one does this is the first time I'm touching them and I'm feeling them they're right here this is so cute I love them and let's take them out of the packaging so I'm gonna start with the big ones which I think are the face ones here so here are the five brush set for the face now here they are look how nice they look look at the sparkles and I chose the silver collection they have like rose gold they have the pink ones which are Paige Corans. they have the red ones which are Ali Dawson's let's start with this one so here is what the brush looks up up close you can see that it has the blinked brushes logo look at all those sparkles I'm gonna include some b-rolls of each brush so you can see it like up close on its own but on the front here it says F3 and when you look on the packaging here it gives you what F3 means so basically this is a contour brush so a contour brush you can take it and contour the face it feels very soft on the face I love the um, going from the light to darker to gray at the top the bristles are so soft and it feels so soft on the face it feels very not too heavy but not too light it feels very comfortable on the hand the beads don't hurt your fingers they don't stab you and each and every one of these beads have been or crystals have been actually placed by the bling brushes team themselves so they're all handcrafted so so cool I love them so this is a contour brush this is the F3 moving right along this is the F2 now the F2 is the liquid and cream brush so this is what this one looks like so you can see that it has an angled you can apply if it's a liquid and cream brush you can use this probably for foundation but it's smaller so I would use this for cream blushes probably or even cream bronzers that's what I would use this one for I love that it's angled it's very dense and very fluffy now the I should have gone in order but I'm going white how I pick them off of the table here now this is the F5 the F5 is the highlight brush it's quite big for highlight you can see but I would actually use this probably to a bronze for powder bronzer that's what I probably use this for or you can use it for blush as well powder blush they look stunning it's just it seems like it's so hard unfortunately this one the f5 it kind of looks like it's bent I don't know you guys can see that but right here like 
you can see here that it's a little bit bent, not straight, which is unfortunate. Uh, all the other ones seem okay so far, but you can see that it's not really straight. It has a bend here, this portion right here. Now let's move on to F1. This seems fine. The F1 is a large powder brush. Now this, you can use it to powder your face. It's very fluffy, very dense, very soft. So you can use it for powdering your face, or again, you can use it for um, powder bronze or anything powder on your face. But because it's longer and fluffier, it's good to use it to apply your powder to your face. And here is the F4. This is an angled cheek brush. This I would suggest to use it probably to either you can contour with it or this is probably used to apply your blush on your face. So pretty. I love them. I love all these jewels on them. They're stunning. I wonder how they did all this. So, so pretty. I think I will give you my final thoughts at the end. So now we have the eye brushes. For the eye brushes, we have six of them. So I'm going to start with E1. I put them in order here. This is the E1 brush. Now this is an angled blender brush. So again, you can use this. Look at those sparkles. So pretty. You can use this anywhere on your eye. You can use it right in here to apply your eyeshadow. You can also, also use it to smudge underneath here. It's an angled, it's more of a bigger fluffy brush. So I suggest to use it probably in this area as well or here. This is the E1. Let's move on to the E2. This is a large round buffer brush. So you can see it's larger, again, large like the angled one. However, this is the only difference is that it doesn't have an angle. So pretty, look at that. And this is the E2. Again, this is good to use probably in this area right here. Or you can use it kind of to apply an all over the eyelid shadow. Now let's get into the E3. This is a blender brush. Again, E3, it says right there. So pretty. And this is a blender brush, so you can just blend your eyeshadow. Perfect for blending, very soft on the eye. It doesn't tug your eye. Now I'm gonna put this to the test when I apply my makeup, but today I wanted to kind of do a review and unboxing and show you guys what comes in the 12 set silver collection. Now this is the E4. Ooh, this is the concealer brush, okay? I don't, I only use the Rare Beauty concealer brush and this type of brushes, which is more of a flat, dense brush. I like to use with any type of eyeshadow, such as either a matte or more of a sparkly one, and pat it on the eyelid. I find that this is perfect for that type of ap application of makeup. I love using a flat brush like that. You can even spray it to get that foiled effect when using a sparkly shadow, or you can use a matte one and just apply it. I find it perfect for that. Now this is E5. This is the packing brush. I guess this is kind of what I was talking about. So I like to use both. This is kind of the similar brush like the other one. However, this is more of a um, fluffy brush. So it's not as flat as that one, as you can see. This is more fluffier than this one. So it has the same purpose to apply your makeup on top of your eyelid and pat it down. And here is the... E6. Now E6, this is an angled brush and this is for your brow. So this is perfect to apply your brows or you can also use this to create a winged um, eyeliner. So you can use it for powder or for actually with a gel liner, dip it in and create, give yourself a winged line. Now here is the last brush and this is the L1. I get it. Okay, so L1, L stands for lips, so this is a lip brush, and this is the only lip brush that the collection has, which is all you need. I guess the E brushes stand for the eyes, and the F brushes stand for the face, F from face. So here is all of the collection, so here are the eyes and the lip, and here are the face. They feel very... They don't feel cheap at all. They feel very beautiful in your hand. They feel very comfortable because I was worried because of the jewels, they might scratch. So they feel great. 
make sure that you are still careful when you put them in your container and not not overcrowd them because you don't want to force other brushes and kind of wreck the jewels that would be my suggestion now the only negative thing is this uh, f5 brush unfortunately is not straight so it's kind of cricket not happy about that but obviously the brush is still usable nothing else you can do it's probably a defect that it came like that but all other brushes i have no issues with they're all straight and they all look like the jewels are sitting on them perfectly absolutely no like flawless design on all of this with the exception of this one which is it happens i guess but they're still usable so i love them now these are all the brushes i got again this is the silver collection this is bring on the bling collection i believe this is the first collection that they came out with they have so many more on their website i'm gonna link their website down below but courtney from blinked brushes did an amazing job they are also beautiful it just depends which color you prefer i suggest if you you can buy the individual eye set you can buy the individual face set or you can buy just the individual brushes whatever you need but i wanted to buy the whole 12 set for face and eyes and lip because i want to have this in my collection i've always wanted them and now that christmas came i was able to get them as a gift so Thank you to my parents for getting this for me. Again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this review and quick show of each brush close up and what each brush does. And again, this is $132, so it's a little bit expensive. This is all US, not Canadian, so it's gonna be a little bit more if you're from Canada like I am. I hope you guys really enjoyed this brushes. I can't wait to use them in future videos, so that way you guys can see how they apply the makeup and how they look. I'm so excited, and I would love to hear your thoughts down below, so comment and let me know what you guys think of this blinked brushes. If you really enjoy this and you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing down below. It will really help my channel grow, and I wish you all a wonderful day. Always remember to be yourself, and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.